So let's use now the Power BI developer mode where you can version all of this here as a code. Let's go and save this file as a Power BI project. So you click and save as, you select where you want to save this file. And I'm going to save this here inside of my ASDO Git repository. And this is going to get version there. So I save it as a Power BI project file, a PBIP. So after I save this, it takes a while sometimes. So you, I'm just gonna show you here how it looks like after you save it. It shows four new files a folder for data set, a folder for a report, a readme, and a PBIP. This PBIP, it's the file that if you change anything in that, it's going to change and it's going to change the folders and also the report definitions, okay? So you want to use the PBIPs. And now if you have your VS code already connected to your Git uh, repo in ASDO, you see that you have four new files in your main branch okay so I have these four and then these four new files actually have it, they are fold two of them are folders so I have new stuff I'll stage all of the changes and add uh, a little note here to my commit uh, adding flight analysis report and data set uh, I'll just commit and then after I commit here I'm going to sync the changes send it to my main branch I know this is the main branch don't do that but uh, for a matter of purposes of demo, I'm just using the main here to make it quicker. Have a branch for all of your changes and then let your leader merge to the main, okay? So now taking a look at your workspace, you see that it's gonna tell you that you have changes not synced to your workspace. Um, it, and if you see the source control, it's gonna show you, hey, you have two new things here, the flight analysis report and the flight analysis data set. It was added as it's saying here. And if you click update, it's going to bring all of your changes that you made as a code and in your, repo, uh, your Git repo to your workspace. So as you guys can see here, now I have the report and also the data set. 